People have been wondering for ages what existed prior to the Big Bang. It's a question that boggles our minds and stretches the boundaries of what we know. Imagine being right at the beginning, observing nothing, and pondering what existed prior to the explosion of our universe. As a result of the Big Bang, there was a moment that started time, space, and everything else. But was anything else there? Before that moment, was there anything at all? Was there something we can't even imagine? As we delve into this science, it takes us on an imaginative journey through theories that make us rethink everything. Brian Cox, a physicist with extensive knowledge of the universe, has a very strange idea. There may have been something present prior to the Big Bang. He wants us to reevaluate our beliefs about reality, time, and space. We will investigate the scientific evidence, the thoughts, and the bizarre mysteries that might tell us what happened before everything else. We will talk about cosmic inflation, dark energy, and even the multiverse. What we discover could surprise you and maybe even change how you see our place in the huge cosmos. Get ready to dive into a place beyond imagination, where the unknown scares even researchers. Let's investigate what might have existed before the Big Bang and why we were misled by these concepts. To comprehend what might have been there before the Big Bang, we need to understand the nature of the Big Bang itself. Scientists say it was the moment when the entire universe was extremely hot and dense, and then it quickly grew, creating all the stuff, energy, and forces we know. When we look at the stars at night, we see proof of this hot start, with galaxies moving away from a central point. But what caused it? And was there anything prior to this fiery, dense beginning? According to cosmic inflation, there was an earlier time, and it wasn't empty. Cosmic inflation says that before the Big Bang, the universe was cold, empty, and huge, like a massive nothingness. But this nothingness wasn't really empty. It had a ton of energy that accelerated space's expansion. This process, called inflation, happened so fast that it set the foundation for everything. Space grew at insane speeds before slowing down, and the energy changed into matter, particles, and the forces we know as the Big Bang. But what was this energy? Why did it suddenly make the universe inflate? And why did it lead scientists to think that cosmic inflation resulted in distinct universe-wide regions, each with its own Big Bang? Each area represents a universe, including ours. This concept is known as the inflationary multiverse, which asserts that there may be numerous Big Bangs and universes. Ours is only one of many. This enormous concept disrupts our knowledge of the universe and makes us wonder what else is out there. The idea that there was nothing before the Big Bang is still just an idea, at least for now. Even if you took away all the energy, particles, and light from the universe, it still wouldn't be totally empty. Dark energy and matter exist in the universe. Forces like quantum fields create something even in its emptiest form. The universe would continue to create kinds of energy. This confuses scientists and suggests that actual nothingness might not be feasible in our universe. When we dig deeper, we see that space itself has things that prevent it from being completely nothing. Imagine trying to create a place with absolutely nothing in it. There are no particles, light, or energy, but basic constants and quantum fields would still be there. That means this nothingness would still contain one thing, zero-point energy, the lowest energy level of quantum fields. Particles in this state can appear and disappear quickly, leaving a ghost of activity even in empty space. This messes with our idea of a true void and shows that even before the Big Bang, there was something scientists are just starting to understand. If inflation made our universe, Brian Cox pictures a scary, big inflationary multiverse where universes are always being created and growing. Imagine each Big Bang sparking a new universe, while inflation keeps going somewhere else, making more universes. This could go on forever. This idea of infinite universes leads to a cool thought about a fractal universe, where every new universe can make its own Big Bang. Each universe is its own world, without the influence of the others, because of the fast growth of space. The concept is exciting, and concerning, for scientists because it suggests an eternal multiverse with no real beginning or end. What if our universe is just a small portion of a vast cosmic entity that's always growing and creating? Our understanding of nothingness gets even more complicated when we think about quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't just a bunch of stuff floating in space, it's a web of energy fields that work together to make everything we see. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, referred to as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disappear from these areas by borrowing energy momentarily before returning it. This results in temporary virtual particles, things that pop up and then vanish, leaving only a trace. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a genuine void. Picture a universe that is empty, 
where all matter, light, and energy have been taken away. Do you have complete nothingness? According to quantum field theory, no. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, occasionally producing particles. This unending activity and inactivity suggests that the universe doesn't follow our rules of emptiness. The fields and forces exist, filling the cosmos with energy that prevents total inactivity. This makes us ask a question. If fields create matter and matter is made up of particles, could the universe have come from this nothingness filled with quantum fields, dark energy, and strange forces making our universe grow faster? Could dark energy have existed before the Big Bang? Some researchers believe that the dark energy we see now might be left over from an energy field that was around before our universe was born. The properties of dark energy point to a hidden force that could have been present before the Big Bang in some form. According to some theories, dark energy, in a stronger form, could have powered the inflationary phase that enabled rapid growth. The presence of dark energy means that even if our universe had no matter or light, this force would continue to stretch the fabric of space. As a result, there's a terrifying idea. If dark energy existed before the Big Bang, it might have shaped the circumstances that resulted in our universe. Could dark energy be the quiet force behind cosmic inflation, or even the start of our universe? As we look at this idea, we face the possibility that dark energy might not only affect the creation of our universe but also hold the key to understanding the multiverse. Another theory suggests that the Big Bang isn't the real beginning. It's called cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe moves through cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In this theory, the Big Bang isn't a one-time event but part of a cosmic rhythm, where universes grow, shrink, and then grow again in new cycles. This theory says that our universe could have been created from the remains of a previous one. The shrinking and growing cycle means that there was a series of universes, rather than an actual beginning. However, suppose there were waves even before the Big Bang, tiny ripples created by events that occurred in the mysterious pre-Bang reality. If we could detect such primordial gravitational waves, they might carry the fingerprints of a universe before ours, evidence of cycles, collisions, or strange energetic fields that existed before space-time as we know it was born. Finding these waves would be like finding a fossil from a world we never knew existed, a whisper from a time when before even had a meaning. Scientists are currently working on extremely sensitive instruments like the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, to catch these ancient echoes. If successful, they could rewrite everything we believe about the origins of reality. And then there's the weirdest idea of all, quantum gravity. Some researchers think that at the smallest scales, space and time might not be smooth and continuous but made of tiny, indivisible chunks, a kind of space-time foam. If that's true, the Big Bang wouldn't be the absolute beginning but a kind of transition where one quantum state of the universe morphed into another. Maybe, just maybe, the Big Bang wasn't a birth at all, but a transformation, a phase shift, like water freezing into ice. In that case, something very real existed before, we just haven't yet found a way to understand it because our concepts of time and existence are too limited. When you put all these ideas together, cosmic inflation, quantum fields, dark energy, cyclic cosmology, primordial gravitational waves, and quantum gravity, it paints a picture far more complex and thrilling than the simple idea of nothingness before the Big Bang. Instead of nothing, there may have been a seething, chaotic sea of energies, forces, and possibilities. A landscape where universes are born and die like waves in a cosmic ocean. In the end, trying to understand what existed before the Big Bang is not just about physics or astronomy, it's about pushing the limits of human imagination itself. It forces us to ask not just how the universe began, but why it exists at all, and whether existence itself is something far deeper and more eternal than we ever dreamed. The journey to understand what came before, is really the journey to understand ourselves, curious creatures reaching into the darkness, searching for the ultimate truth hidden beyond the stars. That arrived before the Big Bang. Some theories assert that gravitational waves could exist prior to the Big Bang, providing us with a delve into an era prior to the universe we know. In the end, what existed before the Big Bang remains one of science's biggest mysteries. The search for answers likely will continue for years, as theories and new discoveries are made. Could the universe have existed continuously? Did it come from a quantum phenomenon, a cosmic accident, or something even stranger? Or is the reality of before beyond what we can comprehend, where space and time do not intersect, and even matter doesn't exist? As we continue our search, we are certain, the quest for answers will evolve how we think about existence for years to come. For a long time, people have been wondering, what was around before the Big Bang? It's a question that really messes with how we see the universe, 
pushing the limits of what we think we know. Imagine standing at the very start of things, looking out into nothing, and asking, what was here before? The Big Bang is supposed to be when time, space, and everything started. But prior to that, was there simply nothing, or something other than we could ever imagine? Scientists are going way back, before theories even existed, to explore the origins of the universe, and it's enough to mess with our minds. Brian Cox, the physicist fascinated by space and cool cosmic phenomena, thinks there might have been something very strange taking place. He wants us to rethink what we know about reality, space, and time. In this exploration, we're checking out the science, the head-scratching mysteries, and the guesses that might tell us what happened before everything we know. We'll check out ideas like dark matter, quantum inflation, dark energy, and even the possibility of many universes. The responses may surprise you. To get our heads around what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to determine what the Big Bang actually was. Scientists claim that it was a time when the universe was extremely hot and tightly packed before exploding outward, generating all of the energy and forces that currently exist. Look up at the night sky, and you'll see galaxies zooming away from each other, remnants of this massive explosion. Cosmic inflation proposes that before the Big Bang, the universe was cold and empty, spread out like a massive void. But even this empty space had a ton of energy, causing space itself to expand super fast. Space expanded like crazy and then slowed down, transforming energy into matter, particles, and the forces we know, what we call the Big Bang. Why did it stop? Some scientists think this inflation created numerous distinct areas, each having its own Big Bang. Think of a huge fabric with bubbles popping up all over the place. Each bubble is a universe like ours. So there might be endless Big Bangs, endless universes. Our universe could just be one of many. It completely messes with how we understand everything. But even if you get rid of everything that has energy in it, it still wouldn't be completely empty. Quantum mechanics, dark energy, dark matter, and other forces stay active despite our best efforts to imagine true emptiness. The universe would still produce far away, new forms of energy. This disrupts scientists' ideas, suggesting that real space might not allow for pure nothingness. Space itself has properties, rules and things that prevent it from being 100% empty. Attempting to construct a location with absolutely nothing still leaves quantum fields active. This means that even nothing has stuff about it. One of these things is the lowest energy state, the zero-point energy of quantum fields. Even in empty space, particles can appear and disappear for a short time, leaving a mark. So, it wasn't a true void. One wild idea is eternal inflation. If inflation made our universe, Brian Cox suggests it may still be happening. This scary idea proposes that universes keep getting made and stretching out all the time. Each Big Bang is like a spark making a new universe while inflation keeps creating others. It could go on forever and ever. This fractal universe model says that every new universe could make its own quantum fields. Quantum field theory of the Big Bang says the universe isn't just stuff floating in space, it's a web of energy fields that make up everything we see. Even when these fields are at their lowest energy, they are still active. Particles can appear and vanish, obtaining energy for a split second. This makes virtual particles, temporary things that pop in and out of existence. Imagine an empty universe with nothing in it. You would never have total nothingness. Even in a vacuum, fields would still be active, sometimes making fleeting particles. This leads to a major question. Could the universe have come from this nothingness, filled through the use of quantum fields, dark energy, and mysterious forces? Dark energy is a mysterious force causing our universe to expand faster and faster. Could dark energy have been around prior to the Big Bang? This force might have powered inflation. If dark energy existed before, it could have caused the conditions that created our universe. Could dark energy be the key to cosmic inflation, or even the real cause of our universe? Secrets of the multiverse might lie within it. Another idea is cyclic cosmology. An endless cycle of birth and death. The Big Bang is not a one-time event but part of a cosmic rhythm where universes expand, shrink, and re-expand. Our universe might have come from the leftovers of the previous one, never a real beginning, just endless cycles where universes emerge, alter, and rejuvenate. What was before the Big Bang might have just been another version of the universe. Space ripples, gravitational waves, are caused by big cosmic events. Primordial waves could show details of the beginning of the universe. But what if there were waves from before the Big Bang? Some theories suggest gravitational waves could exist from a pre-Big Bang time, a time prior to the present universe. 
What existed before the Big Bang is a question for which the search will continue for years as new ideas and discoveries are made. Could the universe have always been here? Did it originate from a quantum phenomenon, a cosmic accident, or something even stranger? As we search through the universe, the quest will shape our understanding of existence, for generations to come. Some thinkers propose that time itself might have no true beginning, that it stretches infinitely backward, beyond the Big Bang. In these models, the Big Bang was not the beginning of time, but simply a transformative event in an eternal continuum. Others imagine quantum foam, a seething, fluctuating sea of tiny energy bursts, where universes are born spontaneously. In this view, our universe is just one bubble that expanded and stabilized, while countless others flicker in and out of existence beyond our perception. The multiverse theory suggests an even more radical idea. There could be an infinite number of universes, each with different physical laws, different constants, and different versions of reality. Perhaps, in some other universe, the question what came before the Big Bang doesn't even make sense because time behaves differently there. This concept challenges everything we think we know about causality, existence, and reality itself. Meanwhile, the string theory landscape envisions a vast field of possible universes, a cosmic multiverse shaped by vibrating strings of energy at the smallest scales. In such a framework, the Big Bang could have been a result of the collision between higher dimensional objects called brands. A massive cosmic event that sparked the universe into being but which itself occurred in a larger, timeless reality. Still, questions multiply. Was our universe born from chaos, or from order? Is there a purpose to the cosmos, or is it an accident of probabilities? Are we a unique phenomenon or part of an endless chain of cosmic creations? The philosophical implications are enormous. If there was no true nothing, then existence, in some form, is eternal. If there was a beginning, then what caused it? And if there was something before, then what was before that? Each answer seems to lead only to deeper mysteries. Today, researchers seek to uncover clues buried in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, hoping to find imprints of events that came before. Others look to the ripples and gravitational waves, subtle distortions of space-time itself, as possible fingerprints of ancient cosmic phenomena. The search is far from over. Every new discovery, every new theory, opens yet another door. Perhaps the true nature of existence is forever just beyond our grasp. Or perhaps, one day, we will glimpse the profound truth behind the greatest mystery of all. What existed before the Big Bang?